Welcome to tutorial about how to integrate Xdebug to PHPStorm. As you can see, I am using version 10.0.3. Our first goal is to enable Xdebug in Apache. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up a browser, whatever you, which one you prefer. On this occasion, we will be using Chrome because Xdebug has this great extension for Chrome called Xdebug Helper. So we open up the Xdebug web page. There you go. And we navigate to download. As you can see, there are a lot of versions here. And we don't need to know any of this because there is a small hack we can use. Now let's switch back to PHP Storm. As you can see, this is my Symfony 2 project. So we navigate to web in my case, and we're going to create new file. It says PHP file. Just click it here. And for name, we'll just enter show me info. And we don't want that on Git. Okay, we just add one line of PHP code, and this is PHP info brackets, and we save this. Okay, now we open new browser window, and we navigate to this web folder where we save this new created PHP info file. So we just remove app dev from Symfony 2 project and add show me info. Here on top you can see which version we are using. So we just select all by pressing Ctrl A and copying with Ctrl C. Opening new tab and going to xdebug web page and just add at the end visor.php. So in this text area, we just right click and paste as plain text and click the button below. It will show us all the data that we need. Here is the exact file that we should download and we right click on it and save as. So we navigate to the folder written below, the XAMPP, here it is, XAMPP, then PHP, and EXT, and save. So next thing is, we go to our PHP ini file, and paste the data from details below the video, where it says xdebug, paste it here and where it says your folder we copy and paste the one that is written in here so copying this one and pasting in here we just save this file and restart Apache server so just click stop and start okay now we are going to add xdebug chrome extension to our browser so the first link that shows up just click it and click here on the right corner it says add to chrome okay just click allow and the extension is added now we go to all our extensions in settings and on the left we select extensions and right on the end we can see our new extension and just click options so as you can see it says eclipse so we should select here php storm okay now we can close all these windows and just refresh this browser and you can see the bug is there nicely done so we switch to our PHP Storm where we're going to add the actual link to browser. So we go to settings and select languages and frameworks and on the right side just click on PHP. 
As you can see, there is no interpreter at the moment. So click three dots on the right side and we add new one by clicking plus and other. So we have to select the actual folder and PHP exit file where it is. So as we saw it before, it's in the XAMPP PHP. So let's navigate there. And we search here for php.exe file, which is the executable and click OK. It's going to load and it will say which PHP version it is and actual which debugger we have. OK, so this is what we loaded. Just click apply and OK. And just confirm it again by clicking apply and OK. Now we activate this X debug by clicking here in the top corner. Okay, it's green, so it means it's working. Now in our browser, we navigate to the application where we want to debug. So let's go back to this Symfony application. Okay, the bug is there. We just click it and select debug. So it turns green. Okay, so we just log in. And user and login and if you switch to PHP we straight away see that debugging is on and here we can see all parameters that are already visible by executing the debugger and that was it hope you enjoyed this short tutorial if you have any questions just enter it below in the comment box and I'll gladly answer in best possible way I can see you next time on another tutorial